before starting to learn any programming language you need to understand what exactly programming is so programming is basically a set of instructions that we give to a computer that a computer can understand and then uh, work on it right so it is basically a programming language that computer understands and this could there are many languages that a computer can understand right we have java kotlin python ph so what are the benefits of programming so if you learn to program it is not just the programming language that you are learning but there are other things that it will help you with like it will improve your program solving skills it will make you more creative like building a small website or you can build some creative video games as well so that will improve your creativity and it can help you get a very good job with a very good pay why java because java is a popular programming language and it is used to build variety of applications android applications and website and it is a very good language uh, for the beginners to learn because it it could be difficult at the beginning to learn but once you get the grasp of the syntax and how to write a basic program in java then it becomes very interesting and you can write a variety of applications with it so java was created by sun microsystems in 1995 and it is a platform independent uh, language which means it can run on any computer which has a jre installed and this makes java a very versatile language so you write the program once and you can run it in different computers it is easy to develop and maintain and that is the reason most of the enterprises use java as their core language to build their applications so any programming language will have some basic building blocks that you need to understand for that language and mostly they are similar for all the programming languages so they are the variables right the different data types whether you are storing a number or a text and then operators so these different data types these different variables how you can connect with each other how you can do the calculations with them how you can like add to numbers you have to use a plus sign so these plus minus all of these are operators for any programming language so variables are like containers right so suppose if we have some boxes with their names on it so variables are like containers that hold some data and then these to these variables we generally give some names like name age email id address so these variables will have some names and they hold some data and this data could be of any type like it could be a number to begin with or it could be a string now when it comes to number we in programming languages we basically have different ranges of numbers like what is the maximum that this variable can store what is the minimum it can store right can it store the floating point numbers like 10.089 like if it if the data type is string then it can store some text and operators are used to perform operations on this data like for example you can use plus operator to add two numbers you can also use that plus operator to add two strings and join your first name and last name so these variables data types and operators are the basic blocks of any programming language so in this video we just scratched the surface of programming and uh, i hope you understood that why programming is important and why it is such a valuable skill in the next video we will start going deep into the java programming language see you there